evening, carb tards. I just slept for about 10 hours, feeling pretty good. When I, um, I haven't rode my bike all week, so this is like, today's my Wednesday. I didn't ride my bike Monday or Tuesday. It's actually Thursday, but I start my week on Tuesday. Um, and when I'm not riding my bike, just everything falls apart, man. Like, my motivation and just my mood, um, my, my fitness, just my ability to m move. It's like the, you know, my blood pumping, my blood volume goes down when I don't ride my bike. So I'm excited to fucking be back on the bike this morning and uh, just feel a lot better once I get to work. So here's how you can do it. You can just become a fit cunt overnight. Got, you need a crock pot because how else are you gonna save time? One, two, three, four, five. Just a little bit of water in there. Sometimes I don't even use that much. And uh, you know, just bring that over there. I put it on high for six hours, but it depends on your crock pot. I like mine really cooked all the way through, so they're nice, soft, juicy, and sweet. High in simple sugars. Sugar for the win. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm off to work. Okay, drink a bottle and a half of water on the way here. That'll be done by the end of the day. Now, two of these sugar. Sugar. Whole fruit. Keep the colon clean. You can do it without a clean colon, but it's a lot better with one. Sugar. More sugar. Potassium. Fruit. All day long. Like this. Aren't you jealous? I get to move furniture all day long. Up a hill too. Jealous. If you want to get fit, all you got to do, if, if you can get instantly fit overnight, boom, immediately. Um, all you, all you got to do is do what you want to uh, plan to do. I don't recommend running if you're overweight, but beyond that, um, you, you can't get, you cannot consider yourself fit enough to ride your bike 100 miles until you ride your bike 100 miles. And the second you do that, you're fit enough to do it. You have that fitness. So your fitness only goes up when you actually do things that you haven't done before. So, um, yeah, it, it, within reason, like don't, don't train to pain, don't train when you're in pain. Watch out for your joints. If you feel something weird, stop. But uh, you can get so, so fit on a bicycle, even as a fat person. You can build such crazy fitness. And uh, I'm not trying, trying to tell people to overtrain, but you, it's just a, a choice, it's a decision, you know, to be as fit as you want to be. So if you want to be able to uh, do whatever it is that, that your fitness goals are, just try going out and do it. A and then you'll you'll know whether you're able or not. And, and as soon as you, you achieve your goals, that's the only time that you're going to be able to do it. Is if you actually after the fact that you do it, you're only able to do it once once you've done it. And as you as you stop, your fitness drops back down. I'll show you a little chart, like on Strava. You can see people's fitness goes up, but only when they do the long rides. When you when you do a long ride or a really hard ride, that's when your fitness goes up. If, if you if you just keep training consistently, you stay fit, but your fitness only goes up when you increase that training. So. Yeah, do it. Go hard. If you got goals, just go attack them. Doesn't matter what it is. Fitness is life. Life is fitness. So whatever your goals are, whether it's cycling or uh, you know writing sociology papers or whatever it is, you'll only have that ability till you do it. So get it done. Get it done now. Thanks for watching. Peace.